Here's the rest of my exclusive interview with center Marquis Pounce. Ben has said it, your linemen have said it, wide receivers, they call you a special player and you just bring that energy. Do you feel like as a veteran of this offense you have to bring that or is that just Pounce? That's just me, honestly. I just like playing my part, you know. I just like bringing the fun to it. I don't want to go out to practice and be like, dang, we got to practice today. No, let's go out and practice and get better. Let's have fun with it. And I, I think that's how I've been my whole entire life playing football. And I think the, the day that that stops, I'm just going to walk away. Looking forward to 2016, what do you think of this group so far? I know we're not at training camp yet, but just from what you can tell these few weeks. You know, this is seven years, man. And to go out there and see how we're executing right now and see how the defense is coming along and you know, going out there getting better each and every day, I'm excited, man. It's the first time that I can honestly say that I can sit back and say that I feel great about every piece that we have, man. And uh, it's been fun to be a part of this, and let's see how things turn out. Coach Haley's talked about it. Ben's talked about it. 30 points being the goal. Not quite there last season. Want to really hit that. What does that mean for you guys as the O-line? I think if we keep being upright and uh, keep all our specialist players, our skilled players healthy, man, we'll have a great chance of doing that, man. Uh, you know, we've been around each other a while now with Coach Haley and all the guys, and I think it's all coming together. You have the Hall of Famer, and Coach Munch. He's with you guys all the time. You have Alan Fanica with you. Right. What is that like? we got a room full of Hall of Famers, man. It's great, man, to get that type of coaching and, uh, you know, be around Alan, you know, get some of the small talk with him and the things he went through when he played. And, you know, to have Coach Munch, I think he excelled all our careers to to the maximum and uh, we all appreciate him for the things he's done to the, us and his organization. In terms of the O-line, what do you guys focus on at this point before you get to training camp just as a unit? I think as a unit, you know, as of right now doing OTAs, just getting all locked in with the plays, not having a lot of MAs. You know, the techniques are always going to be on point whenever you're in, you know, just shorts. Whenever we get the pads, it's time to roll. And I think we got to take advantage of these five weeks, getting in better shape, you know, working on our technique at the time we have off without the coaches. And when we come here, I know Coach Munch will be ready to, to put us on us, put it on us. <laughs> do you guys go your separate ways after mini camp and OTAs before training camp? And do you keep maybe accountability in terms of the other guys making sure they're ready heading into training camp that no oh, one's yeah. slacking off? Well, you always text the guys in your group because you're already so close with them. You're just checking on them, see how workouts are going and what are they doing differently this year and things like that. But most of the guys in our room and our O-line, they work hard, so you don't have to really worry. I know you're ready to go. You want to go to training camp. But Coach Talman has kind of said sometimes there's these situations where he has to control what his players can do. It's not what they can do. Would you maybe fall into that boat? Yeah, he tried to tell me that he didn't want me to take as many reps, but I'm, I'm 26, Coach. I, I got to go out there and play. I got to go out there and, you know, do what I love doing. I can't sit back and watch, man. It, it, it hurts worse to sit back and watch than actually practice. So. Do you love anything about training camp? Heck yeah. The camaraderie it brings, I mean, I didn't like last year because we was out there a little bit too long, but the camaraderie you get to have with the guys, being around them every second of the day, and you know, building that, that core inside, man, it really helps out in the long run with people probably don't really pay attention to it, the Steelers pay attention to it.